Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Wizard of Legend, or welcome back if you happen to catch my, uh, my super closed alpha, beta, whatever series that I did a while back. This is, uh, quite possibly one of my favorite roguelikes of all time, already, uh, you know, just from that, that, you know, Kickstarter beta. And I'm really excited to actually play the full version, or full-ish version. I'm not entirely sure if they've got more development in them or not. Hopefully, hopefully they do. Because this game is really cool. Um, I think... It's, it plays like a beat-em-up, but you got like a couple hundred different spells that you can pull from. You love to come by to relax and feed the birds. You're looking for the Museum of Lenovo. It's just up ahead. Alright, I don't know. Uh, this guy does not look like he has a very good, uh, <laughs> very, uh, well, respectable voice. Anyway, uh, but so, you have, like, a couple hundred spells you can pull from. A lot of them do similar stuff. A lot of them do interesting things, like sharks. Uh, yeah, you hurt me. And I think you can use, what, six of them? Uh, over the course of a run. Uh, plus you've got, like, dashing, dodging, regular attacks, stuff like that. And, um, also there's kind of a risk of rainy style upgrade system, which is really cool. Welcome to the Museum of Lenovo. Here's a complimentary airburst dash arcana for your convenience. So, we've got a bit of a cooldown on it. Uh, it's not too long. I, if I remember right, there's things that actually increase your, uh, the, or increase, decrease the cooldown. All right. On display are some of the arcana that wizards use in the Chaos Trials. The, these arcana were created by virtu virtuosos who imbued their masterpieces with elements refined from chaos. By channeling their magical energies through these arcana, wizards would summon the powerful elements depicted in these works. Yeah, I have nothing. Hello! Hey there! Here are a couple of arcana for you to try out. Well, these replicas won't have any real effects. You can use them in the museum's interactive exhibits. Try giving those training dummies a good one-two. Alright, so we've got Wind Slash and... We've got Wind Slash and, uh... Arc. So Wind Slash, basic slash attack. Dragon Arc is interesting. It's got eight charges. And so, if I wanted to, I could repeatedly fire just one. Or you could just wait for the eight charges to come back. Uh, so there's a lot of cooldown management in the spell system. Which I like. These are the developers, I believe. I don't know who these people are, but I think the guys on the sides are straight up the devs. Anywho, uh, let's see. Yeah, tons of cards that I can't grab yet. It's a shame. It looks like all the spells that I went through all the trouble uh, to unlock, I no longer have access to. Oh, well. Signature Arcana were rare, specialized versions of standard Arcana that absorbed nearby magical energy. When fully charged, these Arcana released devastatingly powerful versions of the spell they contained. Welcome to the Signature Arcana Exhibit. Try this one out. When fully charged, the Exploding Fireball Signature Arcana lets you hurl three fireballs in quick succession. Signature Arcana are normally charged by striking targets with spells, but for the purpose of this exhibit, you can pick up the Blue Magic Orb in the Practice Area. It's pretty effective. Ah, oh, just let me play the game. Hello. The Chaos Trials were an annual invitational event administered by the Lenovan... Council of Magic. These powerful wizards were masters of their chosen elements and fashioned the trials for contestants to undertake. I've fought this guy so many times. I haven't fought the other ones yet. Alright, well, let's talk to her. The Chaos Trials featured a variety of formidable foes conjured from Chaos Energy. Some of these conjured enemies would also be imbued with the elements to pose an even greater threat. Lore! Hi. Chaos Arcana were specialized arcana crafted directly from Chaos Energies that required great skill and finesse to activate. Only wizards who successfully completed the Chaos Trials were entrusted with the possession of Chaos Arcana. However, very little is known about the use of these arcana, as none of these legendary wizards are around today. Welcome to the Chaos Trials Interactive Course. This course will give you an idea of what it was like to take on the Chaos Trials. Good luck, I know you can do it. Yay, I got a freezing sprite. Yep. Uh, so... I guess it might not exactly be a... It's like an Isaac, uh... It's like an Isaac-ish, uh... 
Risk of Rain style upgrade system. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think... I don't actually remember if you can get repeats of stuff. It's been far too... Uh, it's been maybe a little bit too long. Okay, so we got Frost Fan. That's okay. Yeah, I gotta remember what I'm doing here. You can more or less just stunlock enemies if you know what you're doing. It's just been a while. Oops. There we go. Yeah, don't fall into the pits. It hurts. Uh, let's see. Well, that was less effective. Oh, it's this guy again. I have memories of this guy. And this. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it's gotten a lot better over the years. Ow. Over the last year. I actually don't remember when I last played this game. Uh, it Suffice to say, it's been a fair while. There we go. Hello. These snacks are perfect after that exercise. Sometimes I think he comes here just for the cookies. And we're done, I think, with the tutorial. Hello! Wizards who entered the Chaos Trials were usually garbed in standard wizarding cloak, as shown here. They're allowed to enter the trials with one of each of the four classes of Arcana, as well as a relic of their choosing. I could talk to everybody, but I'm only just talking to a couple. On display here are some of the relics that were used by wizards in the Chaos Trials. Each of these unique relics had powerful attributes that wizards used to great effect in the trials. Yeah, I guess, okay, more of an Isaac style. I'm terrible at describing things. Anywho, wizarding cloaks used in the Chaos Trials were optimized for quick movement and arcana use. Many of these cloaks were even enchanted by skilled tailors to have a variety of potent effects. I had all of them. Wizards entering the Chaos Trials often had grimoires full of arcana in their possession. However, as only one arcana of each class could be used in the Trials, they were required to fashion a limited hand that suited their strengths. The Insignia of Legend was a mark of distinction granted only to the wizards who successfully overcame the Chaos Trials. Other than its ceremonial use, not much else is known about this relic other than that it was crafted directly from Chaos Energy. And... hey -o. Now the game actually starts. Yay! Uh, pardon me, are you alright? That looks like quite a tumble there. Whew. Glad to see you're okay. Welcome to your new home, away from home. As a wizard invited to participate in the Chaos Trials, your accommodations and our services are provided by the Magic Council. Also included is a one-time stipend of a thousand Chaos Gems. You'll have to excuse the mess. We weren't expecting any guests so soon. But not to worry. We'll have everything sorted out shortly. In the meantime, let's do a round of introductions. I'm assuming the face in the mirror, uh, the white space around him is just all beard. I'm Varys, the enchanted looking glass. Just stop on by and I'll tell you how stylish you are. Pleasure to meet you, I'm Domi, and I'll be cataloging all the arcana you come across. Let's peruse your gallery now. Okay. It'd be hilarious if I actually still had all of my spells we just opened this up and it's like, hmm, fun. Okay, ah, uh, shoot. Ah, there it is. Oh, wind slash basic. Piercing wind that negates projectiles. So we can also do air burst. Buffet foes. We want to do searing rush. Wind blast is great. Ah, here we go. Storm draft. Destroys all projectiles. Uh, it's not cyclone boomerang. Yeah, I want the the one that surrounds me, but I guess I don't have it. Okay. Or... Oh, no. It is... Maybe that one? Yeah, okay. It's this one. Uh, this one's... This the circular, like, whirlwind is amazing. Because it just wrecks projectiles near you. Uh, which is incredibly effective. Hey, I'm Mimi, and I'll be snacking on all the relics you find. But don't worry. They'll be safe and ready whenever you need them. Interesting. So, relics. Museum tickets. I wonder if we get to... 
I, they did say we got to bring a relic with us. That might be interesting. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ward, and all of your enchanted attire will be in my charge. And body. Now, let's see what fashionable outfits I have ready for you. Oh, I just have everything. Ha ha ha! Ha Yes! Alright. Uh, let's see. So we've got face, vigor, patience. I think patience was the really good one. Hope. Yeah, there's also a couple. So all of the positive ones, uh, positive sounding ones, are, uh, are really good. But there's a couple, specifically, like, Venture decreases your max health, increases your speed, decreases your cooldowns. But I believe it sets your max health to... Ah, here it is. This is the one. Pride. If you wanna- if you really like the Lost, Pride is your- is your jam. Uh, <laughs> you have one HP. Uh, let's not do that. Let's- let's stick with, uh, my standard Red Cloak. I can't believe I get to keep all that stuff. <laughs> yes! It certainly makes my life easier. Uh, we don't get to keep all of my spells, but I'll live. Okay, so we got 100 Chaos Gems. We can buy or unlock some of these? I don't really remember. These are some of the finest relics in Lenovo, and worthy addition to any wizard's collection. Each of these priceless, unique artifacts was painstakingly crafted to perfection. It's my dream to one day live the exciting life of a traveling artisan. So much to learn about the different relics found across the land. One important lesson I've learned is that some relics only truly shine when paired with another. It's all about building an effective collection. I'm just gonna look around. There was somebody somewhere. Let's see. Pay gold for chaos gems. Participated in the trials for so many years, I've managed to gain some clout with the council. Perhaps you'd like to visit a particular council member first in the trials. Your gems could go a long way. Okay, so I can actually choose who I fight. Let's not do that. The Nova Pla Plaza is always so lively. Wizards from all around the world come here to train. Yeah, no. Halt! Only wizards who have been invited to participate in the Chaos Trails are allowed past this point. Oh, you're the last minute entrant. The council has informed us of your arrival. You are free to proceed. Okay, here we- oh. <laughs> Suck it, Taylor, you're sold out from the start. Uh, if you guys want to see where I unlocked all that stuff, uh, please go check out my previous series. Um, on this, because, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of similar, just slightly less complete. We might as well grab the Tracer Barrage. I thought I already had Cyclone Boomerang. This might get a little weird. Wavefront. Let's- let's buy the expensive ones while we're here. Mendes Imperium, haven't heard about that one. Tearing Whirlwind, Tectonic Drill, and I'm out of juice. I should probably buy some relics, but I think this is acceptable. And let's just go with the vanilla build I more or less picked out. Interesting. So yeah, we're gonna have to go through all of them, plus some kind of final boss fight-ish thing. We'll see. I might lose, I'm a bit rusty. Also, this is a whole new level for me, so it'll be interesting. There we go. Yeah. Ow! Let me see what we got. Nope. That didn't do what I wanted. Whew. Into the pit you go. I'm gonna be using the pit a lot. So yeah, I believe you can bring gold in with you into the dungeon. Gold is useless outside of the dungeon, but it's a way to spend your spare chaos gems, because eventually, once you've unlocked everything in this game, there will be, uh, nothing left for you to grab. Um, you know, out in that town zone? Okay, those guys. Ow. I knew it was coming and I did nothing. Oh, you don't see where they're landing. You just see kind of what's underneath them. Okay. Yeah, so I can't rely on a target sh circle to warn me that I'm in danger. I love the movement speed in this game. You're like, oh, you're out of combat. Go faster. Yes. Less effective than I wanted. Okay. Yeah, stuns. 
I love I love the spell system in this game. I oh man, what is that? Oh, this is boss. Uh, sure, whatever. I'll fight it. Counter rogue. Okay, I gotta kill that archer probably. Okay. I'm mostly going to... We've taken out the meat of it. So I'm just going to... This guy's a little bit more dangerous. We'll be fine. I think. Yeah, I've got a lovely amount of stuns. Ow. But I have to hit him with it first. There he goes. All right, stage cleared. What do we get? All right, so I can't warp to the shop, but we got goodies. I love the fact that there's a map percentage thing and like an enemy slain meter. I, there's a lot of quality of life things that this roguelike has that, that others don't. The level design might get a bit stale just because it's, it's pure just rooms. But ultimately, it's kind of more about the uh, the encounter design, which always feels pretty good. Okay, anything? Aha! You break everything. There's always something hiding. And there's shops. There's more spells. I think you can automatically get. I think you can. Automatically get uh, one one spell per floor, baseline. Admittedly, uh, this is based on old information, so I might not be entirely correct on that one. Taking it, nope, can't. Shoot. All right, well that's right out. Damn it! I'm gonna take it. Stupid amount of. Damn it. Mm. There we go. I keep pressing left bumper to use. You know, actually, I could fix that. Switch this to left bumper. There we go. Press pressing Y is a little bit more of a more of an inconvenience. Because my fingers generally sitting around the dodge button. Okay, here we go. Cool thing is uh you get portals that let you go to the uh last boss and back. So I could buy an enhanced airborne slam, thundering fuel berserk, or bouncing blaze. Bouncing blaze is free. So, hell yeah, let's grab that, maybe? I mean, it's a new one. It seems really fun. Alright, and let's grab everyone's slam, which I don't think I like as much, but if it's enhanced, we should give it a go. And then otherwise, we've got Fuel Berserk and Thundering Chain. Both are pretty good. But still, okay. Uh, let's continue on. And there's still a shop that we have to find. And my goal here is, to some degree, try and use as many new spells as possible. I seem to have all of my old spells, which is a little less exciting. Ow! I forgot to put the, uh, spear dudes. Yeah, they've got a fine tell, but... Uh, I just forgot about it. I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage here. It's not going to be exactly the prettiest. Let me see. I want to kill the summoners. If you can kill the summoners, the uh, the little balls just bold or balls the the little like sprinters. Spr I don't know. Whatever the the purple orbs go away. Ah, words. Words are hard when you're a wizard. I'm too busy with spells. Slinging fire. Oh, bam! Oh, that is effective. Oh, this guy's got a spread fire. Oh, wait, no, he's... He's, uh... He's a, uh... He's a caster, not a... Okay, these guys have shields. Luckily, uh, so everything in this game has elemental weak- Ow. I pressed the wrong button. 
everything has elemental weaknesses. Uh, so if you're hitting a nice enemy with fire, it's going to do more damage. There we go. Uh, if you hit uh, a nice enemy with more ice... Oh, horn... Interesting. We got to deal with the devil here. Choose wisely, my friend. These relics come at a certain price. Don't let your greed for power become your downfall. I'm going to grab the horned halo. Which hurts my health. Uh, what does it do? There we go. Revive with low health when revive, uh, defeated, but consumes half current health when picked up. Relic is destroyed on use. Arguably, that was a really good idea. Alright, so we've still got a little bit left. Oh, yeah, right stick for map. So we're, we're still missing a thing. Might just be the other shop. If there's another shop, I'm not entirely sure. I'm so glad I got to keep all my cloaks. I'll probably go with one of the armored cloaks in the future, like for future runs. Yep, here it is. Okay, so we got a healing potion, a bunch of things. I don't remember which of these are particularly good. Let's just grab the healing potion for now, because I'm a little wounded, and I would prefer to ma maintain, to continue this run for a little bit longer. I don't remember if there are secrets. I certainly don't remember seeing any, but they probably exist, and I'm just totally forgetting about it. I don't know, whatever. I'm, I'm just trying to shake the rust off. Also, remembering which spells go where is always going to be a bit of a... Um, it's always going to be a bit of a complication for me, uh, just because... I mean, you, you can have, what, six spells in your list? That changes... Constantly. Okay, there's there's some health orbs. <laughs> He's trying so hard. Oh, and he believed in himself. There we go. Oh, that worked out so beautifully. This is going to be one of those games where I, I will sometimes... Not sometimes. I will frequently... Ow. I will frequently, um, kind of shut up... Ah, shit. I will frequently, uh, shut up and, you know, get totally distracted with what I'm doing. Because this is kind of a focus-intensive game. It's... It's not like Isaac where I can just turn on cruise control and be like, Yep, gotta win this run or maybe lose it, but probably probably just completely steamroll. Uh, it actually requires some effort. It's not... I'm not gonna say it's as hard as, like, uh, Nuclear Throne can be. Like, it never gets that hectic from what I've seen. There we go. But it can get there. Nope, it's just that guy. Beautiful. Still pretty wounded here. I know there's a couple of items that increase the uh, prevalence of... Ow. I really gotta kill that. There we go. Really got to kill that archer. I mean, and the spearman. Pretty much anything that has a little bit of range on it is m much more of a significantly uh, significant threat to me. Than otherwise. Nice part is if I'm low on health, all of the uh, drawbacks for the cursed items shouldn't be that big of a deal. Bully him into the corner. Ah, ah, shit. There we go. Oh, I love that jump. I didn't think I was going to like the jump, but it it does a really good job of... Okay. So we can get Anchor of Burden, Tiny Crocodile Heart, or Ominous Lone Note. Tiny Crocodile Heart. What's that do? Reduces max health, but increases max health for every enemy defeated. Hell yeah! I'm already wounded, so like, who, who gives a dang? How is he still alive? I guess I'll be over here for a second. Um, yeah, there we go. I love the fact that pits 
work just as well against enemies as they do myself. Oh, boss fight. You know, we've we've only got a little bit left on this floor. Let's let's polish it off and go from there. Oh yeah, neat thing is uh so if you notice I've got a uh I've got my dash move. Interesting thing is uh you've got kind of two internal cooldowns uh for the dash. One is like a regular dash which can be used constantly and one's the fire dash. Uh different dashes have different effects. I think some of them can be really spammed. But I like the fire dash cuz I don't know it mucks with enemies. So we can get Tozy's pocket watch. Blasting Sprite, Narrowed Shell. I don't remember half of these. But remember, I chose these pocket watches. Reduces cooldowns, but reduces uh, signature charge rate. Yeah, there's a lot of drawbacks. But I think it's you still end up with a net positive. It's just awkward. Uh, let's see. Where's the last one? Oh, it's down low. I'm so glad you can't just automatically run into pits. You have to, you have to actually uh, make the mistake of dodging into them, or you get knocked in. Game was I playing? I think if it was Moonlighter. It was super easy to just accidentally blunder your way straight into an enemy. Okay, so Ball Lightning, which is really good. Homing Flares, all of these are pretty good. But no, we wanna we wanna get fighting. Okay. So ultimately, this guy is not as hard as some. It helps that uh, it helps that his attacks are so much better telegraphed. Ow! Well, worked out, I guess. I think I got hit by all of them. Ow! All right, how much money do I have? I have to have a a half. I have 175. Let's grab the Nerite Shell. I don't know what that one does. Adds a chance to slow foes. Sure. I buy new spells, but we find them occasionally. Alright, is boss time. I have never fought this boss before. Probably will die. Right, that heals me to full-ish. Okay, Frost Queen Nerea. Or, not Nerea, Freya. It's too late to be getting gold feet, because I'm about to freeze you in your tracks. Ah. Yeah, she gets stunned by opposite e element. Oh, that's... That's legitimately scary. Yeah. Okay, the bosses are... Not as bad, actually. I like this, uh, bouncing fireball. It doesn't exactly do that much damage. Okay, this is a new one. Ow, 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 holy shit! Ow! Whoa! I, uh... I was not ready for that one. Okay. This got a lot scarier. As long as she doesn't do more of those ridiculous that ridiculous ice nova burst will be okay oh here we go and I'm dead damn it never mind not dead I might be able to pull this off don't have much HP there we go not bad, you certainly know how to stay cool. Ta-ta for now and stay frosty. Woo, boy! That got a little closer than I wanted. And we also have Frost Fan, which is unlocked. Alright, so we're pretty much solidly in the doghouse, and that's okay. Honestly, uh, I'm not going to say I'm going to throw the run, uh, but I don't want to... Well, I mean, I don't mind playing too much, uh, but I, I prefer to have as much of this game streamed live as possible, uh, just because. Uh, I really like this game, and 
This is absolutely like one of those games that I will, I will adore streaming. Ow. These guys are tougher. I can stun them, but... I am, uh... Having a hell of a time hurting them. Oh, that's okay. There we go. At least they're super weak to, uh... Super weak to Frost-ish. I guess maybe super weak isn't the right, right term exactly, but still. Now all we need is something to make it so I have, um... Vampirism. Oh! Oh, yeah. Blue means bad. Yeah, so if we had an ice spell here, we'd be rolling these guys. Uh, we've only got one. <laughs> uh, it's tough business. Yeah, I, I'm gonna die. But, I... I beat, I beat, uh, the frost boss on the first go. For me? That's good enough. Like, I truly was not expecting to, uh... I truly was not expecting to, uh, get as far as I have. Let's see. We got Mirror Shield, Sinister Ledger, Grease Boots. I mean, I guess I could grab a healing potion. Let's do it. I'm not gonna throw this run, but I've already accepted my, my eventual demise. There we go. I am just bullying the crap out of these guys. Works pretty well. Wish I had a little bit more auto-aim. But I think that's just... kind of sort of me. No! That's the wrong spell! There we go. Yeah, flinging myself into pits is not great. Yeah, I pressed, uh... I pressed Y and sailed right in. Instead of the, uh, you know, knockback move. Whoopsie doodle. Hello! I should not have done that. They did not get knocked back. They got split. Alright, so what can I get? Stalwart Defenders. Toxic Boars. Uh, Cardus Prime might not be a bad idea, actually. More Frost spells that I can switch in and out. Especially while we're on this level. Makes a lot of sense. Nothing up here. Yeah, so if I if I do do the um let's go grab it. Uh if I do the uh the dive into the slimes. Let's see. Cardus Prime. Rapidly revolving ring of icy blades. Let's switch that out for Storm Draft. I like Storm Draft, but I'm not using it very well. And yeah, this this is going to work a bit better for me. Let's deal with the devils down here somewhere. Oh, I love the music that they picked up for this. There we go. I'll have to... Oh, so fire doesn't do reduced damage against fire enemies. Wind does. Yeah. Kind of wish I could actually... get these guys to, uh... to kill themselves somehow. Like, diving over a hole at the right time or something. Oh well. I mean, not a big deal. I just love it when you can trick enemies into killing themselves instead. Ooh, boss fight. Ah, oh, mini boss. Armor of Greed, Double-Edged Cestus. Let's go Double-Edged Cestus. What's that do? Basic Arcana damage, all other damage decreased. E. Well, I do use my Bouncing Orbs a lot. So, that might be okay. <laughs> We might... If I can find an Ice Arcana, that'll solve the problem. It's gonna take me a little bit to remember uh, what some of these do. But that's that's okay. Okay, so we've... 99%ed this. Whatever we haven't seen is actually in the boss, boss arena to begin with, actually. I think this is the right way. I could pull out the map and check. Yeah, we're going the right way. Alright, mid-boss. What do you have for me? Ow. 
damage. Uh, it's a lot of enemies. Now I can destroy projectiles. But what I want to do is kill this guy. Okay, there we go. Holy... Okay, I'm just gonna... Ow! Oh, I don't want to hang out directly on top of him. Ah. Yeah, I'm taking some extra damage here because I'm... I'm, um... Overestimating my, like, stun abilities. Oh, it's okay. I, I'll get the feel for it pretty quick. No! My stuff! I'm gonna send some feedback to the devs. No, nothing major, but, uh... <laughs> the fact that I can leave without collecting that stuff is... Just demoralizing. Okay, and the other guys... Don't feel like coming after me. I don't know why. Well, I got a health orb. My max health is really good, too. I think the health orbs... I want to say they heal a percentage of your health. But I don't actually remember. I'm not really using my su super moves here. I wonder if I can actually switch them out. Okay, well, I've already got a Cardus Prime. I wonder if you can double them up. Probably not a good idea. Let's let's save our money. Uh, I either want another healing healing potion or something. Ow! Dodged straight through them. It was not. It was not a good. Bah! 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 Death! Death! Got him. Okay. The panic. <laughs> I was doing fine. I was just like, ah, can't word. Just can can react. Can't word. And we've got sail on the pinwheel. Yeah, let's get Rudra's pinwheel. Increases air damage. Okay, not that helpful. We want to get the rocket as well. If I remember right, there was some kind of ridiculous cooldown combo that you can pull in this. I just don't remember what it is. Okay, I'm gonna go for the other guys before I go for the the other mage. Okay, there we go. Whoop. Is that I guess that was him. From beyond the grave, he strike at me. There we go. Nope. There we don't go. There we kind of go. Perfect. Hello, foe! Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Nope. There we don't go. There we go. Life is good. I remember how to play this game. Actually, rather effectively. And that's the super move. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. These guys hurt. These guys hurt a lot. But that's okay. We get a treasure chest, we get some more healing. It's working out, mostly. Alright, so we can get overpriced insurance, glass cannon, or crimson clover. Let's grab the crimson clover. It sounds the most interesting. I'm just grabbing all of these. Critical hit chances increase for you and all enemies. Ha 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 ha! Oh boy. Well, oh boy. Let's see, it's boss time. Uh, let's see, we probably don't want this one. We still haven't seen, like, half the level. Green green portal. I could get one of the other things, but we might as well get the rocket, seeing as it's on sale. This is not a very substantial sale. This is no, this is no Slay the Spire, you know... El Cheapo... I, I don't know. You get, the sales in that game always feel really good. It's just like... Oh yeah, this ridiculously powerful card is dirt cheap. Yes. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Forgot about that thing. That thing uh, kind of has these like weird vortexes around it. They just hurt. 
But if I had just a little bit of vampirism, I'd be unstoppable. Because I get, uh, my max health goes up. With every, uh, my max health, ow! Oh, I didn't even realize he was still alive. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so good at timing the Spearman. The Bowman I'm a little okay with. The, the Spearman always get me with the poke. Hello. Oh, that's why my super meter keeps... Fuck. That's why my super meter keeps running out. It, it goes away uh, over the course of the run. That's why I haven't been using it that much. I forgot about that. Yeah, you really have to... You really have to book it if you want to be able to use those. Okay, can we get the rocket? I could get the Surefire rocket. Let's get a healing potion. Who are we up against? Okay, it's Crash Knight. I've fought Crash Knight before. Ow. I just want to kill his spear dudes. Damn it. At least those... At least those, uh... There we go, got him. Okay, and this... There we go. Now we got everything. Uh, let's see. I don't care for new spells. Not right now. Go back here. Can I get the rocket? Yes. Okay, surefire rocket. Which I believe... Signature charge no longer decays while building up. Yes! That's exactly what I was looking for. I, I'm so used to having that on runs that, uh... I, I'm so used to having that on runs. That it was throwing me off that I didn't. Alright, can't go back. Hello, new boss that I have never fought before. I'm going to fight you with, I guess, some of your weaknesses. Are you warmed up yet? Because I'm bringing the heat. Ow. Jesus. Ow, dying hard. Ah! <laughs> I'm barely even hitting her. I am dying so hard. <laughs> All right. She's going to take some effort. Well, that's okay. Uh, I was kind of expecting that that was going to happen at some point. That's a cool move. Yeah, so note to self, go for the rocket way more often. All right, so max health, run speed, damage, crit chance. That's good. Do we... Okay, so patience increases armor. Evade chance, run speed, max health, max health and defense, run speed and evade, evasion chance, armor and defense. I don't know what the difference is between the two of those, but I think we're going to grid it up for the next run. Uh, but that'll be later, because, let's just take a look at some of these. Yeah, so we've got some new arcana to pull from. Wavefront, and we already had frost paint. Well, you know what, let's try it. I don't think I remember what this one does. Uh, let's see, we also have tearing whirlwind, which... Oh, maybe that does a different things. Cyclone Boomerang. So Cyclone Boomerang is pretty basic, pretty good bread and butter. Okay, that one's interesting, especially if I comboed it with a solid AoE. And let's try that Wave Ball again. That did a weird thing. Oh, that's kind of interesting effect. If it's got a really good knockback, that might be better than the Flame Dash, actually. We'll see. But we'll have to see on the next episode of Wizard of Legend. So, I hope you guys enjoy this, because I certainly do. I will be playing a lot of this, uh, especially now that it's done. Oh, yeah. So, I guess if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm, I mean, I'm always on the hunt for new good roguelikes. And this one, well, I already found it, but now it's good. So, we're going to play a lot of it. Because with that... Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Also, I'm going to be streaming this a lot. So uh, if you watch, if you watch the live show, it I'll probably stream this early on every night, just because you know it doesn't require me to. Well, no, it requires focus. So being asleep is kind of rough. Anyway, good night, everybody. Or good night. <laughs> goodbye. Ha.